What's next for Samuel Drake? Huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. I'm gonna find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh... I don't know, I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know what it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay, but... Listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid... Keys. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is. I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a back. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. The treasure or do something really stupid like go to the authorities. Oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. <laughs> Nearest town. It's ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. The moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. Mm. So whatever was missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. 
And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And where are you going to get the money to outfit all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. <sighs> hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not going to believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm going to take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. Can you see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right. Simple. <laughs> It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? <sighs> Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Say Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here, you mean. With you. In Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Well, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh, uh, so this this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs with <gasps> Sullivan. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, 
There's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Hey, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second <laughs> attempt. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene gli sta. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vince. Inghilterra, traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. Hope you're right. Ah, all those years. <laughs> it's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. <clears throat> so, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, do you at least take any pictures? <clears throat> I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? Are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. I don't see anything to climb here.
Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. It'd suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. Million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping them alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah. Uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's gotta be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's gotta be something. Well, if the guards <laughs> see us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Hey. I'm all set. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. I 
That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to going vegan. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't know. Spiace. Non ho ancora avuto il piacere. Era sempre tutto in realtà. No, no, no. Ho perso il piacere di qualche amico. You see. I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging gold thing. I don't know, actually, I can't share. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice dome. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this crepe vendor outside with his cart. So I go over there, and I want to impress her. So I order a crepe with sugar, you know, une crepe avec sucre. <gasps> I know, yeah, way to go. And the crepe man nods. Then my girlfriend orders. She gets her crepe first, she walks off. And when she's out of earshot, the crepe man leans over and says, in perfect English, your French accent is terrible. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Scusi? locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right.
not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Eight. You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run-in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What's this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Unlocked, of course. Okay, plan B. Check this out. You got something? Come over here. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a. Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Uh. 
Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Damn, dead end. Hey, uh, she'll be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Good job. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Hold a lighter. Okay, up we go. All right, there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Parrucchino in quella roba sul naso. Porta lì. Lascia che tu le dei piatti. Dove diavolo si procurano tutta questa roba? Sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you All up. Right. <clears throat> All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. 
Found the kitchen. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that, find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. Should we wait to put a headache in his underwear? We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. No, no, no. <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. Okay, just like riding a bike. Several hundred feet in the air.
of shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, <laughs> we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> recognize someone no I thought I did but no but when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours Drake well that's ex partner mm. yeah I've been flying solo for a while now Drake's out oh like dead out oh no more like retired mm. last I heard he settled down got married mm. well then he might as well be dead right <laughs> Victor Sullivan the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. Now, I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving it in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. Why did I pick the power room? <laughs> 